Welcome back to my Unreal Engine first person animation tutorial series. So in the last episode we created some new animations for our Desert Eagle here. The equip and also the uh, holster animation like this. And yeah, we have fire, we have some scopes here, we have procedural aiming. And um, in the last episode I said that we're going to uh, yeah, fix an error. So this episode will be not that long because we only will do with the something with the um sway weapon sway because as you can see here our character is breathing and the arms are like moving a little bit but it no, it's not looking good. So let's fix that real quick because we only have to change something in the spring arm here. So currently our values are at the camera leg speed 5 and in the camera leg maximum distance 1. So let's set the leg speed to 20 20 and the camera leg maximum distance to 2. So let's compile and save and let's look now. So now you can see it looks a bit better. He's breathing a little better. And also when we move you can see it's looking better. So yeah. This was a little, little, little tutorial, but I wanted to fix the bug. And yeah, so. Bitte cut house, bitte cut house jetzt. Ich muss jetzt überlegen, hey, machen wir jetzt noch irgendwas. Uh, but we're going to do something different now, so the tutorial is not over. We will start and just create some little skin text first. But because we created in, I don't know which episode, I think in episode number three or something we created weapon skins so let's go to weapons and grab our desert eagle here so we have the paint mode and we can set it to skin to skin and yeah so let's just create some weapon skins for this tutorial i use paint.net it's a free program and i like it it's not bad so let's create another file and set the length and the height to a thousand by a thousand and let's delete this layer here and create another and let's just uh, start with a camouflage so let's grab some camouflage colors here so a camouflage color is some brown so let's go with some brown here, yeah, like this. Let's grab our brush and make it big and just paint some little brown parts here, like so. And now let's add another layer and we have to do like a little yellow, like so. All right, and another layer, and this is green, so a dark green. So like this, let's fill everything up. And now you can see we have every color here, but it looks not that good. So let's uh, combine all layers here, and let's go to effect and go to distort, and let's go with uh this one i don't know what is in english so now you can see here let's set the scale a little bit higher and the break a little bit slower so now you can see they're mixing a little bit so let's uh do some values here and i think that looks good so we can also if we want a what was the name? I think a spiral. Oh no, no, not a spiral. So this looks good for me. So I'm gonna save this and FPS tutorial. And let's create another folder and call it textures. And let's call this camouflage underscore skin. So save this and go to Unreal. 
and let's import this. So let's create another folder, call it textures and import our reference skin. So yeah. <coughs> so let's import that here, add it to our Desert Eagle. And now when we yeah it's a little too big I think let's set the scale to like two and let's compile and save and look. So now you can see our desert eagle, so our slide, our desert eagle is in camouflage colors. And yeah. So let's do another little change because uh, currently we have the ALS uh, system here. And uh, now when we move, the character is just waiting a little bit and then he moves to the current direction. But that's not so good. So let's do a little, little change, go into the event tick graph. And after our do once, let's just say set rotation mode and make sure you select the BPI, set rotation mode, and we set it to aiming. So compile and save. And now our character will rotate directly and yeah so we can see a little like I don't know our hands are a little lagging when we're moving so let's save everything real quick and we have to do another little little change because we have here now um, one sp uh, spring arm and then a card uh, camera. So let's click our mesh and let's create another spring arm here. Let's call it just spring arm one. And let's attach our camera to the spring arm. Set the target arm length to zero and just leave everything as it is. Uh, oh no, let's set the spring arm target socket to head. And yeah let's reset this a little all right so now let's check yeah uh, uh, animations are fine uh, it's still lagging oh no okay all right so i don't know let's fix this in the in the next part so i will figure out what this little lag is so see you in the next part i'm not sure but yeah have a good day and bye-bye.